Our desire at Kingdom Causes is to see people like you mobilized to use your specific gifts and talents to care for our neighbors. Here are a few stories to inspire you to get involved. Every time I come in, I think every time I go in from that door over there, they always like say, oh, it's Jared. And I feel like, I feel like really happy that they enjoy my presence here. And I know that I help them with their homework, but I just don't help them. I'm also an extra mentor in the kid's life. I first got started when I was over at Valley Christian and our volunteer coordinator said, hey, we need some guys to help tutoring. Anyone who needs any help with homework or just any sort of subject, they can come on in. You just want to really instill that knowledge and education is important. I think this is like the starting point to where I wanted to give back to my community because I, after doing this tutoring club, I've tried to do more just like services on my own, whether that's like helping the homeless on my way back home, giving them to change or just um, starting new programs. It makes me have more of an outlook of, into a giving perspective rather than just a taking perspective. I think for me spiritually, I've grown a lot in this just because sometimes I'm tired, but when I think about it, there's some times where Jesus was struggling, especially during like his fasting days, and he, just, he, ha he had the, like, the opportunity to give up, but he didn't because he knew the right thing to do wasn't always the easiest thing to do. Jesus gave his own life, that's probably the biggest sacrifice there is. And so I think the least we could do is at least give our time to others. It's just crazy to think about that. We spend most of our time mostly focused on ourselves when you could be putting that time to good use serving people. One of my favorite things about, you know, being an intern at Kingdom Causes is just being able to do outreach in the streets with the people and just hearing their stories and seeing that they're just in a moment in their lives where they're just going through really hard things and they need help. Typically what we do when we do outreach is that we drive around the city and we try to identify individuals and we approach them and we tell them about the resources that Kingdom Causes offers. Being at Kingdom Causes has um, changed my perspective about homeless people and it has given me more compassion towards them. I just really want people to get well and to succeed. One of my favorite stories was when I um, was helping assess some of the girls at Little House. There was this one individual and it turns out that she was from the same city that I grew up in. We had so many things in common. Just knowing that one day she can better herself inspires me. I think that sometimes the church forgets about the people that God calls us to love because of the way that they look, because of where they're at in their lives. And I think that God has given me a heart to care about people that are forgotten. The way I've been participating at Kingdom Causes is Saturday morning breakfast every week, which is just a part of my routine. I don't think of it so much as a volunteer as these are my friends. I like to hang out with them, like to keep up with the news of their lives. Before, I used to kind of make fun of homeless people, you know, pushing their shopping carts and, you know, that whole thing. And, but then when my own son was homeless, and it's like, what do you do, you know? It just made me rethink the whole thing. And I thought, you know what? The best way to understand the homeless situation is to get involved. Of course, I'd read the things that Jesus said many times, you know, I was hungry and you fed me, I was thirsty, you gave me something to drink. That became more and more real to me. As I read what Jesus is saying, I realized, you know what, this is where you're going to find Jesus, in the places where Jesus hasn't walked. You know, it's not the people that you feel comfortable with, it's the people that you don't feel comfortable with, that you learn how to be comfortable with, because that's where Jesus would be. When I find out what Jesus is doing in my community and join him, then that's developing uh, a deeper relationship with him.